the evening. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Chris Jocko. Herb Dean, our referee Ready for this fight? one. Ready. Good. So here's the middleweight contender, Chris Jocko, set to go here in round one. As good a striker, top to bottom as there is in this UFC middleweight division. But how does he approach the early portions of this one against an also dangerous striker in round one? We shall find out as Jocko takes the center of the octagon. Big punch land. All right, early action here, and a nice hook by the boxer gets home on the kickboxer. This is exactly the range in which he wants to be fighting. Yeah, because it limits the kickboxer, and the kickboxer has a very high guard. So if you're tight and you just pivot with the hook, it lands around that guard, and he does a lot of damage with it. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Jocko gets caught by the straight punch. So we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now, because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Oh, beautifully placed with that lead hook by Chaka. There's another one. Oh, that looks like some head trauma. Beautiful combination. Oh, nice combo, yes. Oh, it's down the target there with a straight right counter. Turn it around. Looks like that one landed. Beautiful body kick. Just over three minutes now to go. Shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot was what they call it to go and end the fight. Nice one-two there. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high. Oh, He's hurt. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Just over two minutes to go in round one. They are throwing both sides with conviction. Get in and that oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. Straight punch is good. Punch to the body is blocked. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh, big left hook there! Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Oh, he's hurt. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. One minute to go in round one. Look 
looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Jocko. Straight right, he misses. Big shots being landed on both sides here. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to... You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. 15 seconds. Nice punch to the head. I am starting to lose track of how many punches this guy has landed to the head of his opponent. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Round two next. Heading back to the corner now after that round. Shot goes bleeding from the forehead there a little bit. It doesn't appear to be too bad. The focus for the cut man, though, to make sure that he can stop the bleeding and not allow the blood to get into the eyes. All right, back to the stools between rounds, and I guess nothing a little Botox can't fix, but let us show you the replay and ultimately the strike that caused that significant damage to his forehead. I mean, his forehead. You, you don't see it very often. But even when BJ Penn kick Diego Sanchez, the damage and the blood that flies off the head whenever you get a head kick to the head, it's, it's very difficult to deal with or get a cut on the forehead. He's got to change his approach now to really protect himself. Yeah, it doesn't appear to be compromising the vision as yet, but he will need to protect himself so it doesn't get worse here in the next round. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is... Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Sides with conviction. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it. Tom. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't been caught. Found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now, he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. There's the kick. It's blocked. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of the stick. Keep that pressure high now. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, gets up to beat his opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect him. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook a little bit. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to... He's in a lot of trouble. Good defense. 
90 seconds now to go in the round. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Different round, and the striking clinic continues. Shades of Max Holloway back in the day against Calvin Cater. Every strike, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt, the kill shot. This is what they call it, to go and end the fight. Keep He's hurt bad. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, man, another strike gets through. This could be over soon. Swing and a miss with that punch by Shore. All right, single collar tie now. All right, they separate. Now we'll see who can get off in space. So he's really so... Oh. Ten minutes in the can. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. Ready. Third round underway. Oh, heavy kick downstairs. Oh, is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, landed some big shots, too. Oh, how good is that left hand? Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Chuck. Devastating body kick lands. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Just missed with the straight left hand. Ooh, nice defense. I thought that punch might get through. Choice, taking aim at that. Oh! He's hurt. Lands a big elbow there. Whiffs on that offering. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. All right, big storyline starting to develop here. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Stay sharp. Oh, landed that Rich. kick to the leg. Straight right, he misses. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Shot goes cut on his nose, is just pouring blood at this point. Oh, nice elbow. Blocked. You know, a lot of people say those don't land, 
but even if you're blocked them a little bit, they still put damage on you. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the store between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now. Oh, that's one of those shots that if you take one of them, in the night, that one landed right on the spot. He closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, why fix what's not broken? Why not go right back to that overhand here again? Heavy on the cut, heavy on the cut. 90 seconds to go. Right Chuck back. goes, oh, right back. Yeah. oh, oh, big, big shots here. Choi's in stacked guard now. Could be in a world of trouble here. Oh, right to the mount. Posture's up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. And another, another strike from the top lands for him. He hasn't moved on the bottom, and now he's starting to swell after he takes another ground and pound strike. Beautiful ground strikes landing. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Oh, the ground and pound is coming. Good movement to avoid some of that power coming back. Oh, that cut is getting worse with every passing ground strike as he lands again. So he's got the ground and pound game going here. Oh, crowd just loving it as the fighters, after an extended grappling battle, make their way back to the field. Yeah, they're back on their feet. They spent a lot of energy on the ground, though. These guys were going back and forth on the ground, and ultimately, he's gotten back to his feet to give himself an opportunity. All right, that is the end of the round. Chotko's nose has got to be broken. I'm no doctor, but perhaps they should call on one right now. You hate to see a fight ended because of a circumstance like this, but I'm just not sure the fighter's going to be able to continue given all the blood. All right, so as the cut man gets to work, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round. Well, he's got some work to do. The cut man's going to have to work a miracle because this guy was on the receiving end of some real damaging shots. And if he doesn't do something different defensively, it's going to get fight. worse. And Ready. if it gets worse, the Good. fight may be stopped. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Shot go gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Shot goes cut right on the bridge of this nose. Does not look good, folks. We'll continue to keep an eye on it. And you gotta think the ringside position will too. Referee might call him in here in short order. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Right on the button. Well, he landed a big knockout in the previous round, and you can just tell his confidence is growing from him. His confidence is due to Ruth, as it should be. He's doing a great job right now of landing strikes. He just now has to find the one that's going to end the night. Take a deep breath. That punch, no good. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, nice jab there by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, he's got to be on top of the world, dominating this fight. The stamina still on point. He didn't skip those Versa Climber days, that's for sure. No, this has to feel good. This has to feel like everything we did in training camp has worked to perfection. Look for him to try to replicate that before his next fight. Nice. Nicely done. Great job getting that kick home. Nice body kick. Shot goes an absolute mess. Referee might have caught an eye of the ringside position right there. They might stop this fight. Oh. Under three minutes here to go in the round.
gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. All right, we go back inside the octagon to the veteran voice once more. He is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, six seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi. So the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi, with another highlight for the reel here tonight. A big win for him in this featherweight division. And it's pretty wild to think that this guy is just getting started.